Hello, dear class seven students. Welcome back. So today we'll continue with what uh, we left in the last class. So we have started the journey, right? We are in a very interesting topic that is digestion in human, right? So yesterday I've given a brief introduction about the elementary canal, right? Do you remember that? And all the digestion from mouth till anus, everything happens in the elementary canal. It's a nine meter long coil, right? And do you remember what are the organs uh, present in the elementary canal? Mouth, buccal cavity, which is also known as oral cavity, then food pipe, food pipe or an esophagus, then stomach, small intestine, large intestine, which ends at the rectum, and uh, finally the elementary canal ends in the anus, right? So yesterday I have given an introduction about the buccal cavity or oral cavity, clear? So we'll study in detail. Buccal cavity or oral cavity. So let's talk about the tongue, okay? First, let's talk about the tongue. Okay, so students, see, inside, in the buccal cavity, we have tongue, okay? And tongue help us with many important functions. One important thing is uh, to de detect the taste, okay? And I'll show you the location of the different tastes inside the tongue. Clear? So our tongue, this is just a rough diagram, so our tongue looks like this somehow. Clear? So the front part here, this one, is for sweet taste. Clear? And here the side side part would be for, it will be uh, salty. Clear? And after that comes the sour taste. And here it will be bitter. Clear? So see, these are the different tastes we have. Sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. Clear? But do you also know that we have another taste, which is uh, recently, which has been discovered recently? What's the name of the taste? That is, you'll find in this part, okay? And it is umami. Okay, umami, I'll write in bold letter, okay? So the umami is a recently discovered taste, and a uh, taste, you know, like, you know how the meat tastes, any meat? So this is an example for that, okay? How is the taste of a meat, okay? Taste of a meat. Clear? Okay, so now I think you're clear with uh, tongue. So now uh, let's talk about the saliva, okay? The saliva, the saliva, we, uh, okay, saliva is secreted from the salivary gland, okay? Saliva, saliva is secreted from salivary gland. Okay? And saliva help us like in, to do many functions, okay? It also helps in, uh, okay, when we chew food, it also helps in mixing, okay? In, in swallowing. And uh, saliva also helps in healing the wound, okay, inside the mouth. Okay, now the third, that is, let's talk about the teeth. Now, we'll talk about this teeth in detail. I have given a brief introduction yesterday, so we'll talk about this teeth in detail. So, we have like, you know, two sets of teeth. The first, you know, the, the first teeth is called milk teeth, okay? Milk teeth, first you'll see like it will develop in uh, maybe in six months or seven months, it, it varies, it varies, okay? So the teeth will have milk teeth, milk teeth, milk, milk teeth, and this milk teeth is replaced by the permanent teeth, okay? So all this milk teeth will be fallen away and then it will be replaced by a permanent teeth, permanent teeth. Do you know how many, how many teeth are there in milk teeth? We have 20, clear? You keep this in mind. We have only 20 teeth in the milk teeth, which develops from six months and by 
eight to 10 years, eight years, seven years, or nine years, it varies. All the milk teeth will be fallen away and it will be replaced by a new permanent teeth which will have 32 teeth, okay? 32 teeth. Clear? 20 teeth in a milk teeth and 32 for a permanent teeth. Okay, uh, so now teeth also we have different shapes, size, different functions. Do you know that? Okay, so let's talk about the first teeth, okay, different types of teeth that we have inside. Okay, so students, these are the different types of teeth that are present inside our mouth. So for the milk teeth, okay, for the milk teeth, which we have like 20, which uh, will fall away and will be replaced by this permanent teeth, okay? So this is a permanent teeth. Under permanent teeth, we'll have all these kind of teeth. And then this is for the milk teeth, okay? Milk teeth. So incisor, Incisor is uh, the first one to develop, okay? The first one to develop would be the incisor. This is the uh, incisor, you'll have like eight in number, four at the top, four at the bottom, okay? You can just feel that the first four at the top and the first four at the bottom. So all together we have eight incisor, clear? And even for a permanent teeth, we have eight in number incisor. Clear? You keep this in mind. And the incisor, uh, what is the role for incisor? For biting, okay? Biting. So you don't, we don't bite anyone, but if we have to, we have, we'll bite with the incisor, right? Okay, now what about this canine? Canine, we have four in numbers for both milk teeth and uh, permanent teeth. We have four in number. That means, okay, we have four, so look here. Let's say this is the uh, incisor. Four at the top, four at the bottom, clear? Uh, so now all together we have eight incisor. Now what about canine? Canine we have four in number, right? So canine you will find here, it's the sharpest one. Okay, the sharpest one, the sharpest teeth. So you'll find like two on the left side, two on the right side. So all together we have two, two, we have four. So canine, you'll find four in, uh, in both milk teeth and in both uh, in permanent teeth as well, okay? And this canine, since it's very sharp, uh, we can pierce easily. So this canine, the role is, the main, the major role for this canine is to tear, okay? So you, you don't see, see uh, automatically if you have to tear something, you'll use this canine, okay? The side one after the incisor, clear? Now, next is uh, molar, clear? Molar, you'll have eight in number. Eight in number, that means we'll have two, two over here, we'll have two over here, we'll have another two over here, we'll have two over here. So this is like uh, for uh, the milk teed I'm saying, clear? Because in the milk teed, we don't have premolar, clear? Premolar is not present in the milk teed. That means in the milk, uh, milk teed, we'll just have incisor, canine, and then molar. This molar is for chewing, for grinding, you know, clear? So ultimately, if you have to choose some hard thing or uh, food, hard food and all, you'll use, you'll utilize the molar, right? Automatically. So see, these are the different sets of teeth present in a milk teeth, clear? Now let's talk about this incisor, okay? Now incisor. Uh, in the permanent teeth, we have eight, and canine, we have four, and we have premolar, and then we have molar, clear? So this premolar, we have eight in number, clear? Premolar, we have eight in number. And molar, we have 
12. So now let's count, okay? Now let's count. We have 12 and we have 8. That means it is 20. Now 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So all together we have 32 teeth in permanent for an adult. Clear? So now, right after canine uh, for a permanent teeth, we'll follow with a premolar. That means four on the left side, four on the right side. So let's for C. So this remains the same, okay? Incisor and canine remains the same, but for permanent teeth, now this will have like two over here, will have like two over here. So all together we'll find uh, eight premolar teeth. Four on the left side, four on the right side. After that we have now uh, follows with a molar teeth, okay? Molar teeth will have 12. That means three on the top, three on, uh, three on the bottom, and then three top and three at the bottom. So all together we'll have six on the left side, six on the right side, we'll have 12 molar, okay? So they are, they are placed in this way. First molar, second molar, and third molar is the last one. Third molar uh, would be like the wisdom teeth, okay? Wisdom teeth is the last teeth to grow. And some people, um, uh, it may, some people may, it, it, the, we don't have a fixed age, okay? We don't have a fixed age for that. Maybe even like in 20s also, or maybe, uh, so that we don't have a fixed age for a wisdom teeth to grow, clear? And some people might have a difficulty while growing a wisdom teeth, clear? So I'm, I, I'm sure you're clear with this, uh, the different type of teeth, the teeth that are present inside a human, clear? Okay, and now uh, after chewing food, clear, after chewing food, uh, sometimes there are leftover present in the teeth. So uh, you are always advised to clean your teeth, okay, to rinse. Because if you don't do that, the leftover food, uh, the bacteria from there, the bacteria will start to grow, okay? The harmful bacteria will start to grow and then they will break down uh, in, uh, to sugars and then uh, the acidity will increase. So, so uh, from there, the tooth decay will start. Clear? So the main culprits will be chocolate, sweet. So overeating of that chocolate and sweet will lead to tooth decay. So you should be careful in that. Clear? Okay, so students, we are done with the teeth part, clear? After teeth, the swallow, okay, whatever food we chew now will be swallowed, now it will be taken to a food pipe, clear? A food pipe. Okay, so uh, after chewing food, it will be swallowed and it will pass on to the food pipe, clear? Food pipe, but are you aware about the windpipe as well? The windpipe, okay. So we have a food pipe and a windpipe. This food pipe is the esophagus, as I have mentioned earlier, right? So these are present. Uh, these are present in the pharynx, okay? So pharynx is like the junction. Okay, pharynx decide. Pharynx decide uh, whether. It is a food or it is an ear. Clear? So uh, we have a food particles and also we have an ear. Ear is that we, we breathe in, we breathe out. Clear? So the air from nostrils, like it is connected, uh, connected till windpipe. So now the pharynx, okay? Pharynx decides whether it is an ear or it is a food particle. If it is a food particle, the pharynx will send the food particles to the food pipe, clear? But if it's an ear, then the pharynx will uh, send it to the windpipe. So pharynx is like a junction, okay? We'll send the food particles to the esophagus and then the air that we breathe in, breathe out to the windpipe. So now uh, the swallowed food is passed on to the food pipe. Here, there's no digestion taking place, but from food pipe, it is uh, sent to the stomach. 
okay? Which is very interesting. And we also have a very interesting story related with the stomach. Clear? So uh, you have to go through whatever we have studied today and we'll continue with the stomach, what happens inside the stomach and the story, a very in interesting story and discovery that we have related with the stomach in the next class. Okay, thank you so much students.